Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Chris Clark with DiscGolf.Law. There is news about Natalie Ryan's lawsuit against the PDGA and the Disc Golf Pro Tour. Natalie earlier this year sued the PDGA, the Disc Golf Pro Tour, and thousand rated productions in federal court in California. The news this week is that that lawsuit has been dismissed with prejudice by Natalie Ryan. Thousand Rated Productions, the organization that runs the OTB Open, had previously been dismissed from the suit. The Disc Golf Pro Tour had also essentially been dismissed from the suit based on jurisdictional grounds. Now this week, Natalie Ryan has officially dismissed the PDGA with prejudice, which means she cannot come back and file a lawsuit with the same claims again. This means Natalie Ryan's lawsuit in California is over. Also this week, there were documents submitted in state court in Minnesota that once they are signed and officially entered into the record will also dismiss Natalie's lawsuit in Minnesota against the PDGA, the Disc Golf Pro Tour, and LaVisca Disc Golf Design. We also have seen this week that Natalie Ryan's name appears on the list of players registered for a 2024 Disc Golf Pro Tour tour card. So what does all this mean? There's been no official announcement from Natalie Ryan or from the PDGA or from the Disc Golf Pro Tour. Right now, nobody is willing to go on the record and say that officially, yes, there has been a settlement. The context clues that we're seeing and some private conversations we're having do strongly suggest that settlement terms have likely been agreed to. You may recall that the United Series, a series of disc golf pro tour events in which transgender women are permitted to compete in the FPO division. No official announcement has been made about the United Series for 2024. If our suspicions are correct, these lawsuits in California and Minnesota are dismissed before the end of the year, it puts a nice bow on 2023 when it comes to disc golf litigation. All the lawsuits that we were following, the Prodigy versus Gannon Burr, McSeese lawsuit in Florida, and these two Natalie Ryan lawsuits will all have been initiated in 23 and resolved by the end of 2023. I expect we will hear an official announcement soon if our suspicions are correct. And if there's any new information that comes out in light of those announcements, we'll be sure to bring it to you. Speaking of 2024 and predictions, let us know in the comments, what do you think will be the big legal battles that we'll see in disc golf in 2024? As always, please like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.